Black Side Die Tech. In this video, I want to do a teardown of this portable DVD player. I want to see how it works, and I want to see if there's any parts that are worth salvaging. Let's get started. What I'm going to do is the same thing I always do. See a screw, take a screw, see a screw, take a screw. Starting with the screws that are on the bottom of this housing. Remove all of them. And now I can open up the housing. And there, now it's opened up. And now detach a few cables. And this is what it looks like inside. How very interesting and very simple. This right here is the DVD player. It has some DC motors and a laser diode. Some of these components are potentially useful. Keep this to the side, maybe I can use this for a future project, or parts of it. And this right here is a battery charging circuit which regulates the battery's power. And this right here is the battery. Detach a few ribbon cables. Remove this circuit. This circuit right here has a few interesting components, such as this little IC, which I'm not really sure what it is until I look up the data sheet, and a few capacitors. These audio jacks are definitely useful. The SD card reader, potentially useful. And some of these components are potentially useful, so I'll put this to the side. And now let's go remove the battery and the battery charging circuit. And there you have it, the battery. Not really sure if it's a lithium battery, but this right here is a battery charging circuit. I can probably use this to charge batteries in the future. That could be potentially useful. This housing, maybe not necessary. And this right here is the top housing, which has the LCD. Next, what I'm gonna do is remove the push button circuit. And there, this is what the push button circuit looks like. It seems very useless. I won't need this. These buttons here are stuck in place. And now let's go access the LCD. This LCD seems to have some hidden screws. What I need to do is remove some of these rubber pads. And there, it reveals the screws. And now simply see a screw, take a screw, see a screw, take a screw. And now open up the housing of the LCD. And there you have it, the LCD and some nice looking speakers. Trying to see what the serial number of this LCD is. I have to look it up to see if I can find a controller board for it. However, this existing controller board may still potentially work. I think what I'm going to do is just simply close this back up because I have another idea that I might want to do, potentially turn this into some kind of portable gaming console. This connection right here connects to the audio and this connection right here controls to the controller board and the video controller. So that way I can be able to connect video to this. I have to figure out which pin is which, so that way I can input a video signal to it. And what I'm going to do is just simply close it up and save it for a future project. And there you have it. Now you know what's inside of a portable DVD player and what components are worth salvaging. This part right here with the LCD, I'm going to keep this intact and keep the screws and keep the whole entire housing together because what I want to do is maybe attach a Raspberry Pi and maybe turn this into some kind of portable gaming console. It looks like it can work perfectly for that. Maybe put the Raspberry Pi right here, and then maybe the batteries over here. Or if I can just read the serial number on this LCD, I might be able to find another controller board, which has an HDMI connection, which might make it a little bit easier. And now this circuit right here doesn't seem to be very useful, except for these capacitors and a few other service mount components, and this little IC that's on here such as the SD card connection and the audio jacks are potentially useful. But what I'm going to do is just keep this board intact and when I need a component, I'll just simply pull one out. And I tested this battery and it's a dead battery, so I'm not going to keep this. And what I am going to keep is this battery charging circuit. This battery charging circuit can regulate the voltage of a battery and charge a battery. So this may be very useful for future projects. And this right here, this little circuit that reads DVDs, I may use some of the components such as the DC motor and maybe the laser diode and of course some of the wires. Some of these components are definitely useful for a future project. 
And there you have it. Now you know what's inside of a portable DVD player and what kind of components that are worth salvaging. Thank you for watching Sci-Tech. Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future Sci-Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.